Hello, hello, and welcome into uh, this week's Pick a Card. Um, so as you'll see from the title, the question is, what should my next move be? Now this could be in the area of career, in the area of health, or in the area of love. So if you're asking yourself that question, what should my next move be? If you're at a bit of a crossroads, um, then hopefully some guidance will come out here. Um, so in the beginning, you would have seen these three piles. So we've got pile one, pile two, and pile three. So I just want you to take a moment um, just to tune in and just meditate on that question. What should your next move be? And if you feel drawn to one of these piles, um, then choose that one and it should come instantly. Don't think too much about it. Um, so I've pre-shuffled and already pulled the cards. I haven't seen any, um, any of the cards. Um, so we'll just get straight into it. So what should my next move be? And, um, and we'll be doing pile one. Okay. So let's see pile number one. Um, actually, let me these to the side as well we'll um, use these for clarifiers as well anyway um, so first of all we've got the dragon power and strength wow and then we've got Archangel Ariel second chakra which is the sacral chakra Woo! yes that's like creativity so yes and then we've got Queen of Wands beautiful eight of cups six of swords nine of pentacles and then we've got the eight of swords here. Let's see what's getting, let's get into these. All right, so you're coming out strong off the bat, yeah? Off the bat, coming out really strong. So really this like, this feels like knowing your worth, knowing your strength, and knowing that you're a very powerful person, yeah? And knowing that you can be trusted with this kind of power, yeah? This is obviously because it's sacral chakra, this is creative energy. This is your ability to create, particularly with the queen of wands, very attractive um, and very like, has that capacity to make things happen. You know, queen of wands is a doer. She likes to get things done. Um, so this is very much like you have this capacity to create. So what's happening here? Because we've started off really strong off the bat and then it's, we, 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 we kind of, uh, you know, maybe there's some doubt here that's happening. Let me see. I'm just going to get into this. So what I see is coming up here, yeah, straight away. This is your inability to trust in yourself, basically. This is why, that's why I said with the power, you can trust having this power. Um, and, 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 a, and a feeling like, oh, can I do it by myself? That's what I'm feeling. Because here I'm just seeing, I don't, like, I want, I want, so that like here we, so we've got the eight of cups, I'm walking away, yeah? Um, but this is related to this eight of swords. So if there's been something in the past where you've had to walk away or someone's walked away from you, or there's been a, a, a separation um, in the past, and then I feel like it's kind of left you with that feeling of like, oh, I don't know if I can do it by myself. Yeah. Um, either way, you've kind of been, you've been, you've almost been um, not forced, but you, you're, you, you've had to. Yeah. So you, you've had to do this. Um, that's the situation that you've been left in. Um, and this is incredible. Like you've got the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands. So this, this is incredibly powerful. In, empowering like nine of pentacles particularly is incredibly like empowered card um it talks about you know reaping the rewards of your own of your own work and your own labor so if there's a worry so in terms of like what should your next move be um i feel like it's just keep doing what you're doing the message that you needed to hear today is that you don't need anybody else to do this, which doesn't mean you don't need people. We all need community. We need friendship. We need love. We need connection. We need intimacy. We need these things. It's not to say you don't need anyone at all, but I feel like there's something where you think you need someone with you. Maybe that's a bit, if that's a business partner, a love partner, 
um, even if it's just a friend who's always championing you, you're like, you know, a motivator. I really feel like here is like, actually, you're learning to actually get your your connection, your power straight from source and, and, and trust yourself to do this by yourself, which doesn't mean you're going to be on your own. But there's something about this path that's asking you to not because what that's what's happening is by saying, oh, I can't do this until I have someone with me. Um, then it does, just doesn't get done. And there's too much energy here not to go forth, yeah? Not to go forth and fly. So don't wait, yeah? Because it's holding you back, yeah? So here we've got the six, we're moving. Um, you know, when we get moving, the fruit, we bear the fruits, yeah? We bear the fruits of this. We, we, we start to see results, we start to see um, you know, all our blessings come in, we start to reap the rewards of all our hard work. And then, but then here it's like, like you kind of stop yourself, like there's a bit of a stopping yourself. Oh, oh, actually, maybe I need help. I need someone to help me do this. And, and, and the answer here is you don't. Yeah. So what should your next move be is do what you're doing. You've got the power, you've got the strength, you've got the ideas, you've got the inspiration. Um, you know, you've got the dragon on your side. That's also like protection. So your vision is protected. You've got this really strong protection, um, really strong idea, really, um, really beautiful, strong ideas. Um, and you've got the capacity and, you know, queen of wands, she's got energy. She's got like ideas for days, you know, she can do this, like to, to go out there into the world and, and take your, to take your gifts into the world. Yeah. Um, your precious gifts into the world and this is just saying don't wait for someone else yeah if you're if you're thinking oh um you know you're really wanting that and and I feel like you're chucking on without but I feel like your message today is just you can reap rewards I you know I I would pull more cards if this is just a short reading um you know if you if you oh is someone going to come in I can't see that here but I would say Whatever it is you're doing, just truck on. You've got the power and the capacity. Just believe in yourself, yeah? Really own your worth um, and go forth. So I hope that resonated, pile number one. Um, so I'm going to put these cards away and we'll get into pile number two. Okay, so pile number two chose the, um, the clear quartz and um, the after tarot deck. So let's see what we've got. What should my next move be? Seventh chakra, oh, we've got all the chakra cards. Seventh chakra, alchemy, justice, balance. You've got the Merlin. Oh, that's very powerful. That's a number one card that is. Okay, let's see what we've got here. All right. Like I said, I don't read them upside down. These have all come up out, upside down, let's see. Oh, the deck was obviously upside down. Okay. Let's see. Let's get into this. Right. So first of all, whoever I'm talking to, um, you're very intuitive. So first of all, you need to you need to know that you're you're a highly intuitive person. You've got the seventh chakra, um, which is your crown chakra, obviously, um, and that just talks about divine inspiration. Yeah, channeling straight from source. Um, and really having a strong connection with source, really being in tune to um, divine connection. You know, um, the seventh chakra really is about union. Yeah, it's the final, it's the culmination of like uh, spiritual practice. Um, so there's a real feeling like, I'm really feeling like very in tune here. And, and then with the Merlin, that's like a very powerful card as, as well. Like, so this is like a real ability to, um, I don't want to say. You've got a real talent for um, seeing what's needed. Yeah. So I'm seeing like seeing what's needed in any given situation. You've got a very good uh, troubleshooting mind here yeah so this is someone who's who's got a very um so like you know when you you see you know if there's an issue at work you know what needs to be done you kind of can see 
how to co you're yeah, very good at conflict resolution or very good at seeing bigger big like this is this is definitely like bigger picture thinking yeah so like basically um you know if there's a problem here you, you know you, there's a solution here and you're very very attuned to that yeah and really aware of like oh actually or even like i see like someone who you know if you have a conversation with someone one day and then you speak to someone else you're very good at going oh actually you two would be really good you know and you kind of make links yeah make connections you 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 see where you know where things are missing and what's needed yeah so see a really 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 um really really um beautiful actually you know really beautiful mind here very powerful but very understated because it's not like oh you get all the you know you might not get all the accolades really for this you you would kind of you're more like a, a sort of behind the scenes mover and shaker yeah is what i see so what's going on here in the cards what should your next move be so that's kind of your essence yeah that that feels like that's your essence um, but there's something else going on here in the cards. Let me just get into it and see. Right, so you've got Queen of Cups here, flagged by two very difficult sword cards. Queen of, uh, Queen of Swords, Queen of Energy, Queen of, so um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, um, it doesn't, it's not going to resonate with these two energies on either flanking her either either side so i feel like this queen of cups whoever this uh this is your energy here then i feel like this is you in your queen of cups energy yeah Ooh. okay right that's interesting okay that's very interesting. So I've not seen an energy like this. So if this is you I'm talking to, you're very, very, like I would say that quite unique and um, very interesting energy. So actually what I'm seeing here, so Queen of Cups is quite empathic. She's quite fluid. She's quite, um, you know, very spiritual here, yeah? But she's also being flagged by this Nine of Swords and this Five of Swords. And this shows me that actually you have the capacity to be quite ruthless actually um i actually feel like this is the queen's energy here um but it's not a bad thing yeah this is actually this is actually really good and then you've got the nine of swords which is your capacity to slay dragons yeah particularly in this after tarot obviously here you see um a dragon is being slayed here um So you've got this real strong capacity to protect, yeah, to, to protect your domain. Um, like I said, you kind of, so you're very strategic um, and quite ruthless, but in a quite understated way. So it feels very understated. So what should your next move be? What should your next move be? So I'm going to get some clarifiers. I'm going to get some clarifiers on this. We didn't get clarifiers in the beginning, but I want to get some clarifiers here because this, this, um, I'm not going to take these because um, this message just feels a little bit incomplete. So just give me, um, just clarify these last two cards here, please. Okay. All right. So that hangman definitely wants to come out. So that's the one I saw before. Um, all right. Just one more then, please. Then. So just, I mean, obviously the hanged man means just hold off. Yeah. So whatever you think your next move should be, this feels like it's not auspicious time to make a move. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely. So this is not an auspicious time to make a move. Um, you've already got your, you've already got your strategy. You already know what needs to be done, but there's some, there's some, there's something that's holding everything up right now, yeah? Um, things aren't quite, the conditions are not ripe for action right now, yeah? Um, this feels like a time to reassess. So you've got, so let me get this message clear, yeah? You've got the capacity to fill in some holes here, yeah? Um, you're very good at it. And when I say fill in holes, you know, you see gaps in places. You see what needs to be filled. You kind of see what, you know, where there needs, where something needs to be 
um, you know, it shouldn't be there, it should be here. Um, and then the world is more harmonious. This is your, pre this is quite a good, it's a very good gift to the world. Um, and you're very strategic about it, but also very like understated. So you've kind of got that Queen of Cups energy, which is very fluid, very uh, gentle, very in a very knowing space. Obviously, Queen is a mature uh, energy. Um, it's someone who knows themselves, not someone who's who's experienced, yeah, but also still has this gentleness about what they do. Um, but my goodness, when you need to pull out your sword, you've got it there. When you need to tell people no, you, you've got it there. So this is very good. This is a good boundaries. Um, this is good, like, you know what I mean? Just being being able to say no. Because, uh, you know, when you have a gentle energy, sometimes people, you know, try to take liberties. And, um, and I feel like very much so. This is very, that's commended. That's like, well done, good. Not taking, letting anyone in, take any liberties. Um, but what should I do next? So this is, feels like a very passive energy though, yeah? I feel like we're just wait, just waiting for some clouds to pass, yeah? So this feels like, and let me give you a, let me give you a timeline on that. I don't think this is a very long time, yeah? So this may be like a month, two months. So I'm seeing like between month, not as long as three months, but between one and two months, yeah? Just let whatever's happening whatever we got a bit sticky icky here is so, sort of not quite it's not quite the time to make a move so if you're thinking about you know should i change this job or should i leave this relationship should i you know whatever the next move should be um it feels like it shouldn't be just yet yeah so i feel like whatever's happening um right now it feels like there's some and it's not a major fallout, but just waiting for some dust to settle here. Yeah, so waiting for some dust to settle here. Um, and then I feel like the, 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 it will be a lot clearer, particularly with that clear quartz, yeah? So I really feeling like whatever we do, we want to do with a clear mind. Um, and here is not so clear, yeah? So we want to just wait for the dust to settle, wait for the clouds to pass. And then I feel like, then we come and check in again with me again and then we see yeah but either way very gifted very well done very connected you've got a very very precious gift on earth um really really unique well done you know keeping your boundaries um knowing yourself doing that inner work well done um and you're probably feeling like ripe and ready to for the next thing and maybe there's a little frustration here with like ah but just be patient, yeah? Not long, a month, two months, let the storm pass um, and, 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 and you'll be ripe, yeah? New ideas will emerge. Um, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, like I said, do, um, do let me know and, um, and then we'll get into pile number three. So thank you very much. Okay, right. So pile number three last but not least um so you chose the opal and the ride of weight so what should my next move be let's have a look the hawk right sip chakra my goodness we've got all the chakra cards so there's like that's very 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 interesting i shuffled these cards as well um six chakra meditation so that's third eye omen right so again very intuitive I'm talking to a lot of intuitive uh, people here, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Right, so you've got the hawk. That's omens and messages. But also the hawk, remember the hawk flies above, yeah? Sees everything from above. Also has a very sharp eye because basically can see a little mouse in a field from like about in the clouds and then basically can swoop in and grab it yeah so this feels like zoom out yeah whatever is going on right now um zoom out yeah because i feel like we need to get a little bit of perspective here um so i don't know if any decisions can be made just yet until we kind of like we have this zoom out yeah Get in touch with our intuition and really get in touch with what spirit and 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 um, and the angels are are trying to communicate. Yeah, that's your foresight. That's your vision. So that's so for you. This is what should my next move be? 
you need to be thinking long term yeah so we need to be thinking over over uh, um over a long period um definitely here no rash moves um you know you've got the page of ones here but still i feel like you you need to be very long we need to be thinking long term so we need to be thinking about a goal from like quite far yeah um yeah ace of pentacles page of wands that's two new beginnings yeah two fresh energies fresh new yeah so if there's a goal even like the ace of pentacles i've always say it's like an invitation to a new adventure like you see like you've got the you've got the the uh pentacle here and it's just inviting you out of this lovely comfortable garden there's a lovely comfortable garden here but there's a little invitation out of that garden to go on a new adventure yeah and that's what's happening here new ideas inspired that's where the page so you've got the uh page of uh, pen um ace of pentacles you know you've got these opportunities come in Ooh, it's given me a little bit of um like a little bit of wind in my wings um now i'm looking forward to the next thing which is great we want this energy but it's a page yeah so don't we don't want you to run out of energy yeah so don't want you to just start off like yeah go and then 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 we crash too soon yeah so this is where the long-term vision comes out so this is really even though i'm not seeing any swords here about being strategic but still, I, this is my this is the energy that I'm picking up from this, which is just otherwise we end up up down up down. We're not in balance, yeah, and then we're up and down um, because we start so well. We start with the fresh energy, oh, and then we collapse. So if we don't have that long goal and that long vision, if we don't have that kind of real a bit of a plan in place and i i've said this myself because i'm not a planner <laughs> i don't like planning long term so if you if you're someone like me who doesn't like to do too much long-term planning um this feels very much like i feel like this would be very beneficial to do that here um because you've got the moon and the six of cups the moon again is very dreary energy it's like quite not quite seeing yeah seeing the end right And even the six of cups. So this is talking about this year. Yeah, it talks about six, six. This is six year. Six of cups is like a very, it's a soulmate card, obviously we know, but this feels like a dreamy energy. With the moon here, it's a very dreamy energy. So it's a very, so this feels, it's lovely. Yeah, so it's very like, yeah, imagination and what could be and like dreaming and like, this is beautiful, right? But if you want to go the course, you just be a little bit more eke that out a little bit yeah um otherwise it's going to be a bit stop start stop start stop start we start we give up we start we give up we start we give up um i, I start something but then i lose energy i lose interest yeah so it just feels like and particularly with this moon energy because this is beautiful right this is actually a really beautiful energy um but it can take us on meandering paths yeah and nothing's ever wrong sometimes it's good to have a meander we learn something we take a different experience and you know that's life yeah that's the that's the path of life um but definitely here this feels like you do have a goal you do have a vision yeah and it feels quite strong here with the hawk and that sixth chakra that's a very strong vision yeah so that's not that can't go back in the box yeah um and i feel like it's just here just about working your energy so what your next move should be is just about managing your energy acknowledging you do have a goal you do have a, a long-term vision okay you've got energy on your side divine inspiration is on your side you've been given an opportunity this is wonderful you've got the energy to do it so now we, we and what what we're preparing for is we're preparing for the long game yeah so sometimes some things are just short and get it done, done. But this feels like a bit of a long game, yeah? And I feel like what we're learning to do is just kind of shift and manage our energy over the course of a longer, over a longer period. Um, and particularly when you start to get into moon energy, because 
this is you know the, you know moon comes quite later on in the arcana yeah so this we're talking about a mature a spiritual maturity that comes when we when we're looking at the moon when you have the capacity to move through periods of doubt um periods of um you know times when things aren't good when they don't look good when you haven't just been given a star from out of the sky and you kind of have to walk by faith you have to be very connected yeah and this moon here just feels like you're preparing for that yeah particularly for this goal it you know this feels like quite a big thing like this feels like quite a big vision yeah that you're holding here a very big vision a very big goal and um you know you've got to be in it for the long haul yeah and preparing yourself for these moments when the path might not be clear yeah but you've got to stay the course yeah if this is um if this is buying a house so if this is like buying a house if this is a goal about owning a house buying a house um just let that just let your goal be your motivation because every time i feel that i'm like oh yeah like because i'm seeing like this vision of like oh, i'm making this house and putting this putting the things where I want them and decorating it how I want, like all of this kind of thing. It's like tap into how that makes you feel, yeah? And there may be a bit of a long journey, like either it's, you know, you've got to save some money, speak to this person, buy, do whatever it might be, the hoops that you have to jump through along the way. Um, and, you know, depending on your situation that, you know, uh, you know, that's, that's a really big deal, right? It's a big shift, it's something new and it's like, but I feel like wanting to just tap into that energy. So whenever the moon card, so whenever you're getting into a place of doubt or a place of like, ah, am I on the right path? Is this the right thing? It's like tap into that energy of like, why am I doing it? Remember, yeah, the feeling. You have the vision. I know what I want, but then also the feeling, yeah. Well, just go forth. Like basically... What should your next move be? Cultivate your energy so that you are ready for the long term, yeah? Um, stick to your vision and really manage your energy, yeah? So this stop, start, stop, start, go, not go, go, actually, no, I, I've changed my mind. You know, this is where the work needs to be done, yeah? So what where, what, what, what should my next move be? It's, it's a bit of work around that, that um, managing your energy so that you can go the long haul and really, really, you know, get that thing that you want, that you really, really, really want. Beautiful. Um, and I feel like it will be this year. So let me just get a time set. It's over the next year. Yeah. So over the course of this year, this one feels like a long one. Yeah. So it feels like at least a year. Um, but I feel like you'll definitely see a lot of progress by the end of the year. So you'll see, you'll feel a little bit more, like I said, a little bit more, um, yeah, you've got the, you've got, you're buoyed by, you know, a little bit of, um, yeah, wind in your wings. Yeah. Good. Um, anything else? Just asking if there's anything else. I think that's it. So, um, yeah, that's pile number three. Um, so yeah, do, um, do like, subscribe, share your comments, ask me, um, any questions. If there's any questions that you want me to add to, um, to these pick a card readings, um, then please do let me know and, um, I'll see you again next time. Thank you.